ni ata karon diri sa cathedral para hinabio nato ang ato ang obispo sa diocese sa Lumagete kabahin sa katungdanan sa mga kabatanunan nato mga kabatanunan sa simbahan uh, particular diha sa uh, sa ka dokumento sa simbahan ang Misio Adventist so here with me is Camille Spens and our bishop dear bishop of the diocese of Lumagete sa Pilipinas di Cortes Matag na ito ko ano, uh, words of encouragement, empowerment, as well as uh, his messages to us, especially in our words, para to aim some mission. Yeah, okay. uh, I have a very specific, very specific request from you, considering that you are, I was made to understand, uh, young people who are professionals, no? So you are, in a way, uh, a, a sector in yourself, uh, in yourselves. Um, let me start by saying that the challenge for mission has been widened by the, by the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines. Before, when we talk about mission, it's about mission agentes, especially to countries uh, where Christ is not yet known or Christ is not accepted. But the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, even years way back, no, um, has identified that mission, the areas of mission, are also the young people. So like you, you are, in a way, you are an area of mission, considering that you are about 40% of the church and 40% of the of society. And many of our young people still need to know about Jesus Christ and strive to live according to His uh, commandments. Young people, uh, those who are alienated from the church, that is an area of mission. That's why I kept on saying that even, even parents, their families are areas of mission, especially when they have children uh, who have been alienated from the church. 
who have been alienated from the Catholic faith, who do not go to church or do not, who do not believe in the Catholic faith anymore. That is an area of mission. And then even the poor, the, the poor is an area of mission. How they can also teach us about the faith uh, and how we can reach out to them and bring the faith of hope, uh, bring the message of hope to them, especially in these times. So I'd like to focus on the, the youth and those who are alienated. Among those who are alienated are those who go to other faiths, or again, and, and other, or those who do not go to church anymore, or those who do not, uh, who are like atheists, you know, who decide to live a life that is without, without God. And there are also those who are what we call now Masons, considering that we are facing a concrete challenge because of Freemasonry and you are professionals, I have a special uh, challenge for you. And that is to seriously look into the influence of, of Freemasonry among our young people, especially upon, among young professionals. The stand of the Catholic Church about Freemasonry since 1738 uh, until, until 1983 has always been consistent. And the teaching of the Catholic Church is that uh, through the popes is that Masonic principles, Masonic principles are incompatible and irreconcilable with Catholic doctrines. And for that reason, any member of the Catholic Church who enters willfully, you know, with full knowledge and willfully become a Mason, Lati Sententiae receives excommunication, meaning they are excommunicated automatically. That is the meaning of that. Thank you, Kai Bishop Marivay, your final message to um, the the theme the, the, the theme that we have for this year is uh, for the year of mission mission agentis is gifted to give we are gifted you as young people are gifted with the faith and the faith is not something that we just keep for the faith to grow and for us to grow, that faith needs to be shared with others. And that is the, the wisdom of uh, sharing our faith with others. Fulfilling the mandate of our Lord Jesus Christ before He ascended, uh, His mandate to His apostles and disciples, go out to all nations and baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So that is our, our responsibility. We grow as Christians to the degree that we share also our faith to others. And I'd like to point out to you that we in the diocese, we have a very easy to understand mission and vision, which helps us along this line. And what is the vision of the Diocese of Dubaguete? That we are a Christ-centered community journeying to heaven with Mary. So why are all, all of these things that we are doing? So that we can go to heaven with Mary and all the saints. So that is the mission. And the mission is to know, to love, to live, and share our faith with others. So that really captures everything. To know Jesus Christ, to love Jesus Christ, to live according to His mandate, and to share faith in Jesus Christ with others. With that, Christian life is in a way complete. So thank you very much and I give you my blessing. All you young people, uh, Pope John Paul II uh, early on said, young people, you are not only objects of evangelization, you are, you are called to be evangelizers yourselves. So may you be strong, formidable, and dedicated evangelizers, especially to young people like you. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Sa mga tao ng comments na na inabi nato ang ato mga bispo, wala y wala y words na angay ikasulti na or ika ika compare nato sa atong pagkamatapalamaton kaniya for giving us the opportunity and that time and you listeners, you are also now part of the mission to evangelize, to educate, to re-evangelize sa mga alienated youth and members of the Catholic Church na walawat ang nagana sa simbahan at sa inang pag-simba. Sa mga migs, will you accept that challenge? Yes! Will you? Will I? Sa mga migs, we are one in this battle. We are one in this mission. We are one because we are one. That church is one, so our mission is one. So you should be willing to accept that challenge. Right. Sa mga mix, hinihila lang natapos ang masanasab na kung natin yung atong programa sa kahinat. Sa nga na lang sa ato ang halangdong o mismo sa tayo sa sakdumagete nga ato alang tinabi ka ganina. O sa referent ko nito before death sa station manager sa DYWC 801 Radio Banilio Reverend Father Ramonito Maata sa ato mga technicians on board no o sa ato ang um, um, station manager sa DYWC Happy FM Sir Elmer Lugatima yung sa tanan niya staff and technicians, no? Sa tanan na lang sa Commission ng Social Communications, the Miss Shakespeare! The Miss Fred! The Miss Fred! The Miss Fred! Maingan ka ninyo! Be happy and be inspired for your information! Bye! Bye!